Hey guys, diving back into the 212 mailbag again. Got an email from Jimmy. Last time he mentioned, wanted to know the best workout, post-workout post stretches to be doing either after class, small group, one-on-one -on -one session. We compiled a few uh, last time with hip flexor stretches and quadricep stretches. This time we're gonna talk about the upper body. We're gonna go bicep stretch and pec stretch. When using the bicep stretch, you wanna actually find a spot slightly below your shoulder. So if my shoulder is here, I'm gonna go about three to five inches below, and I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna turn my wrist and my hand just so slightly. So I'm level with my wrist, and my fingers straight out in front of me, pinned it against the wall, and I'm just gently gonna move away from that. I feel already a nice stretch right here on the top of the bicep head. Now to change the angle on that, I might turn my wrist to doing a palms up position and pulling away, or turning my wrist completely away. Now, right after doing that, leads me right into the pec stretch. You can get your elbow level with the shoulder this time, and then you wanna go up about two to three inches from there. You just don't wanna be jamming your shoulder blade on an angle that's just gonna not be feeling great for the rest of your shoulder. So, breathing in. Go with breaths. Inhale and just kind of sigh and let everything out and get that, allow that your body's weight to lean forward and get a stretch that way as opposed to pushing in hard with the arm and then forcibly pushing through that. You're actually just engaging the muscle and then now you're just creating a resistance. So do your best to kind of get that arm nice and floppy and relaxed. Kind of melt forward. Breathing in, keep the hand loose, keep the neck loose. Anywhere from three to five breaths per side, leaning forward and getting a pulse on each side. Give those two a try and we'll catch you guys next week.